This is the award-winning Lee Pitts Live. Brought to you by the North Law Firm. For car accidents and negligent security cases, call Joe at 239-337-1191. By Crime Stoppers of Southwest Florida. Report crimes and get paid with nobody knowing your identity. 1-800-700-TIPS. And by Lee Health. Okay. All right, Southwest Florida, we're so thrilled to get in here, a rising star in our community. Uh, glad that we can unveil him and his new CD here on Lee Pitts Live. So without further ado, Jay Lamar, new CD title, Lord, I'm Willing. Jay, welcome to the show, man. Uh, good to be here. Now, Jay, you're a Fort Myers born and bred uh, musician, huh? Yes, sir. So how did you first get started into music? Um, I started off in church. Um, my, my, my mother was a singer always her whole life, and then my father was a deacon of the church. And um, I was being on pots and pans as a little boy, so that, that kind of gave the spark of, of being a musician. Mm -hmm. and, and then the father went out and bought the drums, and it went on for history. Right, man. Sounds like the Jackson 5 type Yeah, story. man. <laughs> So as long as you basically can remember you've been uh, musically inclined and involved in music? Yes, sir. What instruments do you play? I, um, bass, drums, um, guitar, keyboard. I can sing. I play a little sax. Pretty much I had that mentality. Anything I can put my hands on, I can play it. I always find that fascinating about you guys. you just like Prince. You play everything. Yeah. Right? <laughs> now, uh, this, would this be your first CD or have you done other CDs before? Um, I've been on a part of CDs, but this is my actual one that I produced myself and mastered myself. Uh, when people listen to your CD, what, what, should, what should they, you expect them to come away with? Um, the message, the soul, that um, mainly you can do anything through Christ, you know, um, just keep pushing, you know, stuff like that. Who inspires you? How, how did you, who do you look at? Who do you listen to? Um, honestly, my parents, they're my biggest fans, you know, um, they always tell me, they always in my ear, you can do better, you can, um, really? there's a better way, uh, um, I mean, just, he's in store so much into you, he just, those are my, my biggest fans. Well, they're looking at you on television right now, call their name, make them famous, Um, man. Evangelist Vera Peterson. Right. And Pastor Jesse Peterson. See, there you go, now they, now, now they smiling, now yeah. they smiling. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the long term you as a musician and, and as a solo you you do solo and then look like you do some group yes. things as well why don't you tell us all about your um, different genres of my, music. my genre, uh, different um like a lot of people call me for for um to to my program as far as like the to to go on their um program and do some um, music or um, they might get a group or they might need me to play bass they might need me to play drum um, okay. drums so i get i get contracted in with different stops of my music so i'm always a part of something uh, well known in the on the city of the churches i play for a lot of churches too and um perform with a lot of churches so if people watching you now and they want to get in touch with you with that information on the screen they can uh they can contact you because we got people looking at you in the surrounding five counties plus we're streaming online worldwide you just never know so once they get in touch with you you can work out the details right yes um what's the best way to reach you uh, through the number and uh, facebook I mean, uh, I'm always there. <laughs> so soon you can call me, I'm there. So um, basically the phone call, you can contact me. You like giving back to the community as well. Yes, sir. Uh, talk about your GoFundMe page and what that's all about. Um, it's, it's a GoFundMe page that I started. Um, I'm trying to help the unprivileged kids who um, give them a better opportunity to do something different. Um, it, it's more so that it's, it's something free. So it would be like set up to an after school program to where I'd be teaching the kids um, drums, bass, guitar, keyboard, really? singing, anything I can help them with. And then this also will help them if they're un unprivileged, that means they don't have that much. So I'll be having food, I'll be having um, clothing, anything that can help their life to, to be a better person. How can people, what, what, how do they, what, what do they need to look for on your GoFundMe page? How do they find it? Um, it's actually GoFundMe, and you'll see on Jay Lamar um, music right. music page, and um, you'll see it, and then whatever donation you want to give, you give, and then that's how I'm going to start it up from the donations and stuff. So all the, my participants, um, the, the, the students, they would, they, it, it will be free for them. There won't be no charge. Outstanding. You have a place that you're going to do this, or you're just going to go to yes. them or where? Yes, um, 
Um, my studio, my, my recording studio, it's, it's half of it, it's the church, and half of it is my recording studio. So it will be hosted at um, Soul Seed Ministry, right in Fort Myers, and that's where I'll be doing the classes and stuff like that. Where is that located? Um, off of Evans, tw on 2651 Park Winster Drive, um, Suite 201, Fort Myers, Florida. Any amount of money is uh, appreciated on your GoFundMe page? Yes, sir. Okay, now let's go back to the CD. How many songs you have on this CD? I have 10. Uh, the name of your CD is Lord, I'm Willing. Yes. Why that name? Um, it's just um, certain things in the past of my life, you know, um, it's just, you know, everyone has a where they had to come from. Mm -hmm. And that was my come from uh, um, part of Lord, I'm willing to do anything to make this happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's that's where it really came from. Mm -hmm. So you got a testimony then? Yes, sir. All right, let's hear some stuff. Give the people some stuff. Um, be real. Be real. Um, it just, you know, sometimes when you, you're a preacher's kid, you uh, you begin to stray away sometimes. Right. And um, it just, I'm a preacher's kid too. Go uh, ahead. So, so you know what I'm coming from. Right. Sometimes you experience some things, some things you have to go through yourself to find out. That my that's mom the, is a preacher. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's so you understand. Because people out there are like, we didn't know that. Yeah, my mom's a preacher. Okay, so it's some things you have to experience on your own, and sometimes you fall, and um, you just learn how to get back up. Mm -hmm. When people look at you, um, you want them to see you as a role model? Yes, sir. A person who's gone through things, turned your life, got, you know, doing some positive in life. So give some some idea of when they look at you look at you as what as a human who's had his flaws go ahead yes uh, a person that ain't always had it they um they the dotted eyes cross t's together it just uh, it took me a point to where i always had talent but um had to change my mind frame of certain things I had to think outside the box mm -hmm. um had to uh humble myself uh, get rid of the attitude because i like i say i always been talented but certain things when what will stop you from getting where you got to be, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So you got to be more focused, and at this point, I'm like more focused on what, what is the, the purpose of my life here. But it seems when, by you growing up here and being a part of the community, you can walk amongst all people. Yes, sir. You can go down on the street corner and talk to the bros there, and then you can go over here in a, in a fancy church and do your music or on a different stages. By you being able to relate to people from all walks of life, what does that do for you and your ministry? Because you're ministry through your music, Yes, right? um, the more people um, to outreach is more than the people who like you. Um, like, how can I tell a person uh, not to drink if I never drunk, uh, or not to do this if I never do that. So it's more easy for me to go anywhere to try to relate people, to get people to come. I said early on, you're ministering through your music. Is that true? Yes, sir. Through what you do? Yes, sir. Explain. Um, it just, um, I just try to outreach. Mm -hmm. uh, I do a lot of local churches at different functions and try to get people to come. And when they come, um, it just like I, I, I give them my testimony. I let them know that it's a better way. How do people get your music? Um, you, I have it on all outlets, uh, iTunes, Pandora, uh, Amazon. I have it actually on CD, so you can call me. Old I school CD, you, right? Uh, yeah, That's right. Yeah, so I have it on all outlets. You can um, contact me and you can get it. Even on your Facebook page, they can Even get in touch with you and get that CD. Yes, sir. Right. You uh, you going to autograph it for them? Yes, sir. I yeah. need you to autograph actually, one for me. I definitely will. Actually, uh, when I did the album release, I did a, uh, a picture. I autographed a picture and, mm -hmm. and um, I gave him the CD. Mm -hmm. We're looking at your album cover. Uh, on, uh, you look like you got your little, you know. The, the, tell about the design of that album cover and that outfit that you got on. Look like royalty, bro. Yes, yes. Um, um, like I say, growing up, my parents always been there, so they always instilled me, "You are a king's kid." Ah. So I always live my life like I am a king. I, I, that's what I believe. I'm a king. I am royalty. So I, I don't accept anything less. So to be the best, you gotta dress the best too. So I mean, I, I really believe in. The royalty stuff. Now, I'm assuming one of the songs on there is "Lord, I'm Willing," right? And you, are you gonna you're gonna perform "Lord, I'm Willing" here? Uh, what song are you gonna do uh, today? Holding a changing hand. Okay. Uh, "Lord, I'm Willing" is that a song on there as no, well? No, actually, it's just the, the title of the CD. The name of okay. Uh, you're gonna. What other songs on your CD stand out to you? What are your favorites? Um, "Trouble." Okay. It's so. called "Trouble." Um, to gain or lose. It's so much trouble in this world. Uh, you're trying to figure out how to make it right and stuff like that. That's what I'm saying in the song. Are you writing your own music? Yes, like I, producing I, it, doing all of that. Yes, sir. I, I wrote the whole music. I, I lay all the different instruments. Um, wow. I, I sung at each part, produced it, mastered it, 
Yes. You big time and you get all the money then. Yes, sir. <laughs> now I understand also that you help other people with beats and producing. You got your own studio yes, uh, and things of that nature. Expound on there and how people can uh, actually connect with you in terms of producing their product. Yes. Um, actually, like um, a, lo a lot of uh, a local groups, gospel, they, they don't they don't have any music, you know what I mean? So I can give them a shot to, to create some music for them and then they go around and can sing without a track or just an idea just to record. Okay, uh, so we're gonna go to a break and when we come back, we'll get to hear you sing us off the air, okay? Okay. All right, we'll be right back. Lee Pitts Live is a Lee Pitts Enterprise production. Hello, everybody. This is Lee Pitts, the host of the award-winning Lee Pitts Live here on Fox 4. We appreciate you watching our show here on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click in below. Let everybody else know that they can subscribe as well. Also, when we're on the air on Fox 4, you can also catch us streaming live at 8.30 a.m. in the morning on fox4now.com. Just click on live and you get us all types of ways at your convenience. That's Lee Pitts Live.